What's up, YouTube? This is Take Five Podcast. I'm Aaron Action. I'm Dustin. I'm Rosie. Ben W O three five seven. Today's topic is top five bands that start with the letter B. All right, Ben. We got to start with the B. Yep. All right. Cool. Ben with a B. I, I have a lot of I have a lot of um firsts for me on the list tonight. Um, this band made the list because they were the first death metal band that I ever, the first death metal cassette tape that I ever bought. Um, I purchased it after reading about it in a magazine. Um, I was all, always into like thrash and, and, and that kind of stuff. And then I read this article about death metal and I was like, Oh, let's go check this out. So my number five pick is bolt thrower. They were also the first death metal band that I saw live at park Avenue back in the day. I don't even like, 19 dickety nine or something like whatever it was but yeah that's that's my number five pick that is a good pick i remember um i was supposed to see him at the newport and um for low ticket sales they, they, they just canceled the show i'm standing in the line they come out you know the promoters come out like oh it's canceled so i, I never wow. got to see yeah wow All right, that's crazy. yeah yeah it was, it was sometime like, in the night huh were no, they, they weren't for- there. I mean, like the people you know, at the Newport were saying, like you know, low ticket sell, so you canceled. Oh, I, I thought you said you like were in line, and I'm like, well, yeah, I, w- I was, yeah, I was in line, but it was what I'm saying. The people work at the Newport was like, um, the show's canceled. Huh? Yeah, and um, yeah, I've seen like, I've been at shows at Newport, and there have literally been like five, six people there, like that. I know that dead. So that's the yeah, that they were I know. That. Yeah, me too. I, that's happened a few times. It's yeah, funny. I, mean, it I used to work to... there for a while. It was yeah, it wasn't that uncommon. Yeah, and the shit. That's funny. I even saw Good Charlotte there, and it wasn't hard anybody there, you know. And they were a big band, you know. They didn't even cancel. All right, Dustin, what you got for number five? Well, number five. Uh, not only uh, does this band name begin with a B, where they're from even begins with a B. You motherfucker! Uh, you better not even. So from Boston. Okay, good. <laughs> I got, I got blood for blood. <laughs> oh, that's a. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's a good one. I forgot about them too. Yeah. Yeah. One of my, I'm glad you know, I forgot now since you had nine band. hardcore bands. Yeah. Just one of those bands. If you're in a dark place, man, <laughs> they're one of the right bands. I remember you loved them back in the demo days, like in the like the seven inch days. I remember you were all about them when when they had yeah. like the, the girl in the band. Girl. Yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. saw them then. Went up to a show uh, in Detroit with uh, Cold as Life. I think Blood for Blood and Stigmata were on tour together, and they played at one of the dudes in Cold as Life's houses. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, saw them even early on that kind of era, before the Victory shit. And, but yeah, always, always will love Blood for Blood. Yeah, that's a good pick. I totally forgot about that one. All right, Rosie, with Jeff at number five. For number five, I'm going to go with Brian Setzer. Oh, hell yeah. Nice, yeah. That's a yeah. good. That's a different. Did some, did some roller skating to Brian Setzer the other day. Did not fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love some stray cats, so that's that's a good yeah, thing. Me too. Love the stray cats. Right. Pizza right. the roller skate. <laughs> All right, my number fun. my number five is kind of different than y'all's. Uh mainly for the debut album. My number five is Britney Fox. Oh yeah, yeah. That first no, that would have been Trex's pick. But yeah, that first yeah. record was so good, man. You know, it's that shit still, that shit still hits. I remember you had the shirt at middle school, and I was like, "Who's she?" <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's funny I still have that shirt. <laughs> All right, Ben, with Jeff for number four. For number four, um, not a whole lot of explanation for it. I just, I really love the band. Super catchy. I'm a, I'm a big pop punk fan. Um, I went with Brand New for number four. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you I, said pop punk. I thought you were going a different route, but yeah, that that's that's good. Yeah. I've actually seen them, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a great band live too. Yeah, yeah, they were good when I saw them. Not my thing, but yeah, they were good, for sure. Right, right, right on. All right, Dustin, what you have for number four? Uh, number four is a band that I uh. I saw I was in Texas in the summer of 1990 and uh, knew who they were. They have a cu- had a couple of videos on Headbangers Ball, but uh, Babylon AD. Yeah, we talk about them uh, here. Yeah. Uh, did the Robo, the one with the second RoboCop soundtrack? Second, yeah, second or right? third one. Yeah. Second third, which, yeah. 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 Right on. All right, Rosie. What'd you have for number four? Um, for the rest of the list, that was really hard for me to kind of like place everybody. So um, it's kind of sporadic, but I'm going to go with Babes in Toyland. Um, I know you're not surprised to hear that on my list. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they're, they're good, though. Liar, liar. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's why I always think about them on, on Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Hell yeah! Also B. B. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fuck yeah! All right, my number four punk rock oi band, the Bruisers. Fuck yeah! And I didn't have them even. Shit, that's an awesome. You brought them up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot them. Yeah. yeah, I fucking love the Bruisers, man. Fuck yeah. Did you ever get yeah. to see them? No, but god damn, how awesome would it have been? Though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that would be sweet as fuck. Yeah. All right, Ben, what's that for number three? Number three. Um, I actually might change my list here a little bit because I just realized that one of my favorite bands of all time didn't make the list. <laughs> so a little bit. Um, um, now we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and keep number three where it is only because my, if, if I were to pick one song, one single song, that's my favorite song of all time, it would be more than a feeling. So for number three, I'm going to go with Boston. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wow. See, when, yeah. De- when Dustin said band from Boston, I thought that's who he yeah, was going to say. <laughs> that's what I thought he was going to. Yeah. Yep. yep. See, that's, I mean. I know you. I've seen you post about that song on Facebook, but I've known you like forty years. I never heard you talk about that song before until you know. Yeah, well, when you're sixteen, you don't tell people your favorite <laughs> song. It's more than a feeling, by boss. You, know you get to be my age, you just don't care anymore. It's more of a shame, but oh yeah, yeah, because you were making fun of me for liking shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and and honestly, if I'm being honest, it didn't really become like my favorite song until I was probably in my 30s, and I it just I don't know. I love it. It's up there though for me. That's awesome. All right, Dustin, what's your number three? Uh, number three, I actually have a band that's uh still still doing it. Um, they've been been a while. They're they uh they kind of. Put together a few different styles. Uh, they're from Georgia. Uh, Blackberry Smoke. Mm-hmm. Kind of uh, yeah. Southern Rockish, Americana. They do a few different things. Mm-hmm. I like them. It's something different, you know? It's funny because yeah. I, I think I've seen them open for Wasp about like 15 years ago. Could be. Yeah, they were. I want to say they actually have oddly, real odd, some stuff on Earache Records, and the, and they're like I said, like a a more Southern rock, like Black Crows. Like, how does a band like that? I don't know. I mean, how does a band like that end up on Earache Records? You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, Blackberry Smoke. All right, Rosie, do you have a number three? For number three, I'm going to have to go with 
uh -huh. Bruce Kulick band. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> They're so good live. <laughs> They're so good. That's awesome. <laughs> what, like, I'm curious because I don't know. Like, what does his band do? Like, what songs do they? They just do, do stuff like anything he's been a part of. They do '80s, '90s Kiss stuff, like the uh, makeup list stuff. But Todd Kearns does most of the vocals. Zach Throne does um, some of the vocals. But they do most of them better than Kiss ever did. I'd, I'd hands down go see Bruce Kulick band over Kiss any day. Hmm. Right on. Like all right. And all right, my number three. I remember their debut album. Then we used to cruise around and listen to this motherfucker all the time. This band, like, their albums are kind of hit or miss. There's been some really good ones and some really not so good ones. Body count. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, never, I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, they do that yeah. first one. They're like, my job is eating these donuts. <laughs> we used to rock the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I. That's that's another one I forgot. There are so many good B bands. Like yeah, yeah, it's awesome. That's not who I thought you were gonna say though. Yeah. All right. Yeah, what's I'm sure that's coming up too. All right. What so what's your number two, Ben? Number two, I'm, I actually changed on the fly. Um, I got to go with Black Train Jack for number two. One of my oh, favorite fuck. bands ever yep. of all time. Yep. And I actually. I, I don't know why they just I didn't even think about it until we were sitting here halfway through recording. I was like, oh, yeah, like they have to be on the list. So, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they made number two. They, they bumped my other number two. To a, see, it's fun. You said that that was going to be on my list, too. But I I figured you would say it. So I had as long as I mentioned, dude, that dude, they were so good, man. Love mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Those like, first two albums are just amazing. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, I agree. Didn't he die recently? I thought so good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, dude, they were so good. I, I knew you'd say that one, so. Yeah. All right, Dustin, what Jeff for number two? Well, number two, I got a twofer because uh, two bands share this same band name. Um, so the first, well, the, the bands in this case are uh, Broken Teeth. Uh, the first one is uh, Jason McMaster has a band called Broken Teeth, uh, who are very ACDC meets Motorhead type stuff. Um, and the other Broken Teeth is a European hardcore band, actually, who about seven, eight years ago did a CD on uh, Century Media, which is very like hate breed meets Marauder type stuff. So I definitely like that band too. But uh, yeah, two two broken teeth, two different, totally different styles, different ends of the world, the whole thing. But broken teeth. Oh yeah. Hi right, Rosie, Jeff for number two. For number two, I went with um, East of Blanco which I mentioned on the last episode as well, but uh, Pisto Blanco for sure. All right, on. All and right. Elsie Sue says hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. All right, my number two, this is the band that kind of changed, you know, like my style um, going from the glam stuff, you know, and then into the 90s. Got it right there. Biohazard. Like, yeah. dude, those first couple of Biohazard records, man, mm -hmm. were so good. They were going to be my number two. Yeah, yeah they, they were, were my number two until, yeah. See, that's yeah. the one I was saying I figured we would all have. I mean, cause that's, you know, because mm -hmm. I mean, that goes way back. I mean, that was the band that when I got into them, you know, that's when I, you know, became straight edge and, you know, like my whole life changed when yeah. I started listening to them. They made a lot of metal kids turn into hardcore kids. A yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. I remember going into a record store. I was like 16. And the guy that worked there, 
it was that first record that was out on May's records, that first, mm -hmm. which in my opinion is still the best one, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he handed me a copy of it and he was like, if you buy, he's like, I'm not even supposed to do this. If you buy this and you don't like it, bring it back and I'll give you your money back. And I took it home and I ended up buying like two more copies because I wore it out because I mean, it was cassette tapes back then. So yeah, yeah like, yeah, absolutely. I didn't mean to just hog that whole conversation. There. No, so, no, yeah, it's totally, it's totally cool. Yeah. And it sucks. I remember, um, they played um, was sick of it all and um, sheer terror at the Newport. Remember that? Yeah. And I was that supposed was my to go hardcore show. Yeah, I was supposed yeah, to go, but I remember I was sick. It was great. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, I wanted. I'm. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to go, but I was sick. It was great. Yeah. 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 I mean, I wanted. I'm. Yeah, I missed that one. Like, yeah, that would have been so good, man. Everyone jumped off the stage to beat up some like yeah. dudes off that were just there. <laughs> it was, it was awesome. <laughs> great. Like I um the first wild. time I seen them was when they played with Fishbone, which is kind of an odd show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was I still a fun show. I was I was at yeah. that show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's funny because you know that was you know early on when I was in the hardcore and stuff, and I was like, man, I'm I'm about to get killed at this show. You know, I'm thinking, well, at least Fishbone fans be there. You know, like won't be so bad. I mean, I'm gonna get killed during Biohazard. But man, it would do. They were so good, man. Yeah. Did you guys see that they're um they're doing like a small tour, right? Original members. Yeah. I, yeah. I, heard, they they were were doing doing a, I heard they were doing an album. I mean, is that yeah, an album? Correct? And they're playing some yeah. shows. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, Ben. What was your number one? Number one for me is not only the number one on this list, but they're my number one musicians of any genre, any music ever of all time beastie boys yeah 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 yep. had to be mentioned yeah see i knew yeah. that was your number one i mean it's like i i even like the old punk shit man the old punk shit oh, me too. Yeah. yeah yeah some of the instrumental stuff i really have to be in the mood for but yeah it's it's all good i love it all yeah yeah i knew that was your number. so i didn't even put that anywhere i'm like i know ben's gonna have that one yeah, well, I that's like the, my favorite band of all time, and it's the one band that I always loved that I never got to see. Like they're the single band that mm. I never got to see. So, yeah, is it Lights Still like your favorite record of all time? Something it, like it, that. It changes. It, it changes. I, I love all of them. It, it probably either if I had to pick, one, it would go between License to Ill and Paul's Boutique. But I mean, I even love that last one that they put out. Like it's all good. I love it all. It's funny because, like, when they, um, when I said they first came out, I tried to get into it, you know, but that was like I was straight up in there, you know, rock. And the two, um, you know, the two hit songs off there I liked because they're like metal and I could not get into it. But then, you know, when I got older, you know, then I like Paul's Boutique is great, you know, like I really got into them later. I mean, yeah. I really got where I appreciate them. Well, great I mean, stuff. realistically, who. Who doesn't fuck with licensed ill? Yeah, I know. Let no, me, but right. I'm like, you know, what year did it come out? Like 87, 86, 86? Yeah. You see, I was 13. Yeah. You know, I was listening to like, you know, Motley Crue, and you know, I didn't I remember I um I bought the tape and gave it to my sister. I mean, I don't want like this crap, you know, but then I ended up taking it back from her, you know, years later. But mm -hmm. all right, Dustin, what's your number one? Number one classic rock band um, who I think sometimes go a little unrecognized, um, but I love them, man. Always loved them. They were a band that I got into early, always known of early on, always liked their shit. I mean, they're classic rock as fuck. Bad Company. Honorable mention. That's a good one, yeah. Yeah, man, I love, you know, and they were one of the, first few super groups you considered super groups sort of thing you know like yeah i think they got together in like 73 so paul rogers a great singer oh yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. i didn't want to mention yep bad company yeah all right rosie what's your number one you guys are gonna clown me as hard as ever before it's it's even worse than Aaron's fandom with Good Charlotte. <laughs> they get mints on every show. 
<laughs> My number one B band. It's not the Backstreet Boys. Boo. Uh, <laughs> it's Bush. Oh, okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting I like that. Bush. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I like uh, I like Bush. Yeah. I love Bush. Uh, some radio Bush songs that uh, Yeah. They those the earlier game. stuff yeah wasn't bad. See, it's funny, Ben. I'm surprised, um, especially when you said pop punk, because I, I know you were a big Blink-182 fan. And uh, that's another man. I love Blink-182. And it's I just, there are so many good B bands. Yeah. So many bands that start with B, they're, they're, we could have like top 50, honestly. And, yeah. and again, it's, and I just <laughs> forgot because yeah. there were just so many. Well, see, I knew you had had Beastie Boys, Black Train Jack, and I figured um, Blink-182 would have been on there. I mean, cause you, you, they would have been if I would have thought about it, yeah. It's, it's funny because, like, I like some pop punk, but I was not big into them for some reason. I don't know why. I loved them up until that – when they started getting all weird and serious. I mean, I liked them when they were still making dick and fart jokes all the time. They <laughs> yeah. Good, but when they started getting serious, then it was kind of like, eh, but – Yeah. Because yeah. I think when they came out, I was more into, like, you know, the more harder punk. You know, so I, I mean, like, you know, I, I liked Green Day when they first came out and all that. And I remember seeing Blink-22 in the Warp Tour in, like, 95 or 96. Didn't even know who they were. Didn't even really pay attention to them, you know. Oh, they're, they were awful live. They were terrible live. They were. Really? I, yeah. I loved them, but I hated them live. They were crap. Wow. All right, my number one, which shouldn't be much of a surprise Bad brains. Yep. I know Dustin don't like bad brains. I, I get it. Why people? I I didn't get it for the longest, but I'd say within the past five years, I finally get it. Why people? But yeah, it just never really. I guess I, I hate saying it like this, but I guess it's. That was before my time discovering the bands that, as much as I love the fucking, that first Chromax record, that Chromax, that first Chromax record is Bad Brains meets Motorhead. But yet, I said, I don't hate Bad Brains, I just <coughs> never really didn't get it there for the longest. So see, it's funny because way over um, when you came over here over the summer, you were like, you know what band I never really got with the Bad Brains? Like, Shit, that's like one of my favorites. You didn't like him either, did you, Ben? I, I, I mean, I, I just always <laughs> thought they were so overrated and so obnoxious, for lack of a better. It just wasn't yeah. my thing. I just didn't. I didn't. We'll like see. It, I'm not trying to diss them or anything. I know that's I mean. Didn't, I did. Just didn't like it. It wasn't my thing at all. Yeah, I mean, that's I your opinion. Give them chances because I felt like yeah. I was supposed to like them because. Yeah. Everyone I loved was like, yeah, our, our biggest influence is Bad Brains. And then I would, I just, like Dustin said, I just didn't get it. it just, yeah, just... everything you said, but up, in, I said within the past five years, I finally did get it. I was like, I okay, I see why all these people, but I still never was like, eh. <laughs> see, the thing is with them, I mean, they've gone through so many different genres. You know, I mean, they did like the reggae mm -hmm. stuff, yeah. punk stuff. They got real metal for a while, you know, like. And um, and looking back, they were actually the first punk band I ever got into. Um, I remember seeing one of the videos on Headbangers Ball, and it might sound kind of weird, but the fact that they were black, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, that's fucking awesome. So then, you know, I end up you know checking them out because of that. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I I, I do like um black metal rock punk bands. I I love a lot of that shit. But that's how that's why I checked them out and then finally got to see them. And you know, when I was living in Florida, and, and their first couple records are fucking perfect, man. But yeah, yeah, I remember, uh, yeah, I remember Ben, like, yeah, um, it was around, um, I think the quickness record or something. You're like, man. They suck. <laughs> I had I had one of the like post like the, when they were like kind of like post hardcore. I had one of those albums, and I didn't hate it, but it just didn't grab me. Like it was okay if I just had it on the background while I was drawing yeah. or something. But 
and I, it's the one that had like the they had the music video for like I think the song's called Rise Rise Up or something oh, yeah. like that. But, That's funny. That that, that was a totally different singer. <laughs> yeah, I was like, say, I, I that wasn't with, even with HR, was it? Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, like, but that's yeah, that was the only album that I ever, and maybe that's why I didn't hate that one because it was a different singer. I don't know. <laughs> it's just I hate being that guy. It's just like, oh no, they suck. When like obviously they don't suck, and eight billion people love them and respect them. Yeah. Yeah. Every other band we love, was like, yeah. yeah, that was their favorite band. Yeah, didn't yeah. Mackie play yeah. on that one? Dustin, I think Mackie did. Um, I'm not sure if it was that one. Because I know that. Him. I think that's the one record that wasn't like the original members. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't know who Mackie was back then, but I remember they had a white they had a white drummer, and I'm pretty sure that was Mackie. Joseph Israel was that the singer? Yeah, then? that was the singer. Now, yeah, yeah. I I really like the cult of personality. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to get canceled, man. <laughs> What's that anal cunt song? My favorite black metal band is uh, Living Color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, damn. Everything's falling apart now. That's right, funny. Okay. Rosie? You got any comments? Comments? <laughs> honorable mentions? Let's get the honorable, honorable mentions then. All right, I got I got a couple honorable mentions. All right, what you got? Um Billy Holiday, um Buddy Holly. Buddy Bang. Holly. And of course, I feel like it has to be said with the four of us that are on here. Um yeah. blood has been shed. Yeah, I've been thinking about that one. All right. Does our um, Ben, you have any? Or you said you have a lot, so go ahead. What you got? Yeah. Uh, Bantera. It's like now I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bjork, actually. I, I love Bjork. I know that sounds weird, but. No, yeah, you've I, always loved Bjork. Yeah. 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 yeah like I remember you just, still used to sweat Tori Amos, too. No, oh, no, that, no, no. That wasn't that you? Was that was Who Day. Oh, Did you guys go see her get yeah. kicked out? I Hude. have a whole story about who they getting us kicked out of Tori. Yeah. Amos when I, I didn't even want to go. Oh, I see. But, I thought I knew you guys went and seen her and got kicked out. Oh no. It's like the best story. I mean, it's, we'll save it for another time, but right on. Yeah. He got us kicked out of a Tori Amos concert that I didn't even want to be at because he was wilding out. Cause he was <laughs> nuts for her. Like, like it is a great like story. <laughs> oh dude. So um, let's moving on. we got burst of silence. I don't know if you remember them back in the day. Yeah, I do. They wrote my single favorite militant straight edge song ever. Um, it was on the seven inch. I don't remember what it was called, but it was so good. Um, my favorite rapper of all time, Busta Rhymes. Um, oh, Bone yeah. Thugs and Harmony, Beat Nuts, Bulldoze. Beat Nuts. Um, Bulldoze almost made my list too. Um, he just died like this year. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I, I think that's it for for right off the top of my head now. Dustin, what you got? Fuck, I gotta say it, man. Black Sabbath. Oh, how did I not even think of that one? I mean, yeah, I mean, love him, hate him, whatever. Fucking Black Sabbath, yeah. Oh yeah. I also got a uh, Bullet Boys. Bullet Boys. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Um, I had Beastie Boys. Um. Badlands. Yeah. Um, another New York hardcore classic, New York hardcore band, Breakdown. Mm -hmm. uh, Greatest hardcore band of all time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a band that came out probably about like 15 years ago. There was a whole like in the early 2000s, like thrash resurgence. And I really did like this band out of that. A uh, batch of bands, if you will. Um, so they're actually their band names, the, the name of the first Exodus record. Uh, they were called Bonded by Blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I like them. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all I had written down. I'm really glad you brought up Black Train Jack, man. That was an awesome pick. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Huge fan. I have a, I have a Black Train Jack tattoo, actually. So, yeah. Huge fan. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was also I'm surprised, Aaron, you didn't say bad religion in there anywhere. That's honorable mention. That was actually would have been um if somebody would have said one of mine, I would have replaced mm-hmm. like if somebody said biohazard, I would have replaced it with bad religion. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that was that definitely honorable mention. I had BB King. Yeah. Yeah. Bang Tango. Yeah, yeah. Barbed wire dolls. Yeah, you were all about that band. Yeah. They're not, it's a newer punk band. Um, they were living in Columbus, Florida to record a record. And, uh, and they're like, they're originally from like Greece or something. But um, yeah, they, I used yeah, to see them at, um, at um, Shrunken Head every week. So you never heard them, Ben? It's a female fronted punk band. I've never heard them. Yeah, know. they're really good. Did I tell you the Tom Zutat story about them? Yeah, because I, men- I mentioned Barbed Wire Dolls a lot. Yeah, you told that story. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all I had written down. Rosie's talking. We can't hear. I was on mute. Tom Zutat was on the Kiss Cruise. He had just gotten married. He was there for his honeymoon. Hmm. Nice. That's that's kind of cool. I would have talked to him. I have some. Que- I have questions. Yeah, he was nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ben, you um, want to plug your tattoo shop again, or uh, check me out? Ben Hatfield Tattoos. I'm at Cero Tattoo, um, Cero Tattoo dot com. Uh, follow me on. I'm on everything: Instagram, Facebook. Ben W O three five seven um, is the hashtag. Check me out. Awesome. Anything else? All right. Thanks for coming on again, Ben. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It was a blast. Always fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Five and out. Hell yeah. Yeah, wasn't that Jerry? You know that shit was, that shit was hot, wasn't it? <laughs> I was wrong. Because I was, I was super flabbergasted because you were, you were like, nah, I hate him. Like, I don't like him at all. I'm not a fan. And, and then like, you're like, what? You used, I was like, to. you used to be. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, okay. I, I just thought something drastically changed. Yeah. I thought you like met him and he like slapped your mom or something. Like that. <laughs> you started hating him. <laughs> nah. You know how you are with, you know, Scott Hall? Like, mm-hmm. you know, like Jericho is like my favorite celebrity, you know, like I listen to his podcast and I mean, everything he does, you know, I'm all for. Right? Yeah. Like, that was spontaneous too. When you said that, I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna fuck with him now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even Trex, like, you see Trex's face, he's like, "What?" <laughs> he told him <laughs> earlier that day, like, he, he goes, "I know you're gonna be your number one." <laughs> yeah, that was great. It was funny. <laughs> that shit was awesome. Dude, there were so many B bands, like, like so many. My yeah, honorable mentions list is like. It could have been like twenty long, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I, there's one that we'll probably all going to have. Like I imagine, so I'm, I might have to switch it up if somebody says it before I do. All right. Is that kind of a thing? Is that what we're supposed to do? No, you don't um, have to. I, I oh, okay. Yeah, you know, like just so we don't have repeats. I mean, you don't. You don't have to. Okay. All right. Because hey, that's why I have so many, you know, I have so many honorable mentions just in case. Because some of them, it might be kind of hard to decide my top five. Yeah. So somebody yeah. says it, I'm like, that gives me a, t- you know, chance to put somebody else on there. Yeah, that's easy to do with this one because yeah. I kept flipping on a couple of them. I was like, man, should that be honorable mention or make the list? So yeah, but see, back in the wrestling oh. thing, if you would have said something other than the Jericho one, I probably would have switched it up. But the Jericho was too funny. Like I, I had to, you know, like it worked. It worked yeah. so well. Though. Yeah, That's yeah. Because normally, you know, like we, um, it's funny because it started out. We a lot of us had repeats, but the, the longer the show's gone on, we, we used to do mm-hmm. kind of switch it up. So just to, yeah, yeah, you know, <clears throat> make it fun, I guess. Absolutely. Come on, Rosie. Sweet. It's eight fifteen. It's pizzas, some shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just ate two gallons of chili.
Well, if you guys are ready, we'll go ahead and get started then. Well, I mean, before we get started, there was my breath okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get some. Let me lean in. It's so funny. I smell the beer. Because I was eating pizza right before this. And, like, God damn it. In, in the garlic sauce. And I it's like. She'll eat too. I brushed my teeth. I was like, oh, and washed my hands. I was like, oh, this I smell bad. And I was like, why am I doing this? It's funny because Ben just got that saying. <laughs> She's probably eating pizza somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's too fucking funny. That's, just, that's funny. Well, oh, yeah. I've, I've been asleep all day, so I ordered pizza. Right on. I don't even like pizza. I don't even like pizza. How the fuck can you not like what? pizza? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't. Pizza huh. used to be my favorite food, and I can't. The past few years, my stomach is so fucked. Every time I eat pizza, I throw up, so I can't. I can't eat it anymore. It gives me acid yeah, reflux. That I understand, yeah, yeah, but not liking it. I... <laughs> oh, I, I get <laughs> depressed that I can't because I because sometimes I'm like, man, it's a Friday night. I just want to order pizza, but I can't because I know I'm gonna get sick if I do. It's, it's yeah. kind of sucks. It's, I guess that it's not that I dislike it. It's just that oh, I know you don't. No, 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 stop! You don't get to bad. I don't though. enjoy it. <laughs> no. <laughs> like there's people that get so stoked on pizza and I'm just like uh, well I, yeah. I, I just want